when Newbot decided to drop out of what's what's called the covered area project in Arizona and New Mexico, Newmont guy recommended that Getty uh, be asked to join with a 50% interest with Hannah. Now the covered area project uh, resulted in finding the Casa Grande deposit, copper deposit, at about 1,200 feet, completely blind, and with uh, several hundred million tons of one of one percent copper, the covered area project was uh, started by Dave Lowell. Dave approached Newmont with the the concept that that is uh, is elegant elegant because of its simplicity. The, Dave, Dave uh, basically said, look, 70% 70 per, 70 of, of the post-mineral rocks are covered by alluvium. You do prospecting in the 30%, and then if you find an anomaly, how are you going to project, project that into the, into the covered area? That's where the drill comes in, and uh, Dave Dave calls it uh, statistical drilling. We liked the 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 uh, covered area project in the in the states. We suggested at at one of our meetings to Dave that uh, we we'd like to we'd like to uh, uh, get going in Chile. We don't have any staff or anything, uh, how about doing the same kind of program in Chile as this successful program here? That appealed to Dave, because Dave had been consulting for, oh, four or five years of, in, in Chile. He knew the ground and, and so on. And Dave, Dave or I, I think, uh, one of us, organized a meeting at the American Mining Congress in Las Vegas with Utah. And uh, I knew the Utah guys. <clears throat> David worked for Utah. We signed a contract, Utah and, and Getty, with Utah as the operator. And we signed a separate, a separate uh, agreement with Dave to, to come aboard and, and basically run the program in the field. Utah hired a chief geologist out who, who opened up an office in Antofagasta. And, and uh, Utah was the operator. So all the employees except David and his people, all the, all the rest of the people were Utah Utah employees. Dave brought down a, a drill rig and equipment and and uh, one or, and at times a couple of his of his guys to to run the drilling program. With his advice, we we concentrated on about a thirty kilometer wide stretch going from El Salvador to Chuquicamata. A consultant by the name of Tyler Kitteridge came in to, to do uh, prospecting, did a lot of geochemistry. There was a particularly good land program. The Utah guys, who were all Chilenos, a Utah office manager in Santiago, really put the land people to work and stake a lot of ground. And this played an extremely important part in, in the discoveries. Meantime, Tyler, of course, as I said, uh, did, uh, well, he, he, did, he did all the prospecting and, and sampling and, and so on. 
and through his work, uh, we we uh, finally came out of the general area of of what became Escondida. Earlier, earlier though, before we got to the Escondida area, Pancho Ortiz, who was the field manager, had a friend who was a land man, chilling, <coughs> Donaldo Rojas. Donaldo knew of the work had been, that had been done by other companies in the Escondida area. He took uh, Ortiz and Dave Lowell to uh, Cerro Colorado, which, where, where uh, Proisog had taken, had taken a bunch of samples. And, and uh, uh, Dave and, and, and Pancho uh, saw that, that this, this looked like a very interesting area. They later took 313 samples, rock samples, that they sent to Harold Cartwright. Harold's re report was considered by, by Dave as as um, well, not that not that exciting. Kitterich's work in the meantime had had come up with with uh, uh, an anomalous area between Zaldivar and, and Escondida, which indicated that if you if you follow the the Lowell Gilbert model. Put put the 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 best target in the covered area. The management committee, which was Bob Wheaton for Utah and I for for uh, uh, for Getty, uh, approved the program as part of what we called a work program for the year. Uh, Harold Cartwright, in in his report, there was a porphyry copper system represented by the leach capping, but that uh, high grade uh, would be uh, would would be perhaps moth eaten. We we were drilling holes on, on less uh, uh, significance than than the areas there. And we had a big molly. We had quite a molly um, anomaly and that contributed to our interest in, in the area. The first hole hit, as I recall, 59, 59 meters at, at one point something percent copper. Discovery was March of 81. Yeah. And it took 10 years to get it into production. Um, Getty, uh, we we stayed we stayed with the project until Texaco took us over. Texaco got rid of all the mineral assets of 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 Getty, so we were we were out of it. That was that was the the story. It was a a, a great a great uh, team effort, and uh, uh, the drill hole played. Played a, a, a big part. A good geology, three million dollars to discovery. Great project, obviously. <laughs>